Hello friends and surprise! After a big sleep that has now lasted as much as over 8 months, I have finally decided to set up my microphone and make my return to the public. It's been kind of a busy time for me as for both IRL and RS, but as they say, better late than never, so here's a new video for all you patient people who have been waiting out there. This time it's gonna be a relatively short one and probably a bit rusty one as well because for now I have nothing else to announce than saying that I'm alive and that I'm at least thinking of making a comeback to the video making scene. And on top of that I've decided to get things going by announcing a little comeback livestream. So on 28th of May and presumably at 5pm plus 3 GMT I will attempt to livestream the second episode of Lost in the Flow with Acid Soul, and this time as an icing on top of the cake, I am planning to hit two 200 mils on one and a single tick at the end of the show. It's gonna be a pretty special moment, so by all means feel free to tune in to the show at twitch.tv slash acidesp, up to date information and link to this livestream should soon be found on my recently created twitter, which is twitter.com slash acidsoul underscore rs, and of course in the description of this video. And moreover, if it all goes as I've planned, I'll try to also provide you guys a temporary download link so that you can listen to the whole show as a podcast later in case you missed the live session, just like it was the last time with the first episode. So, other than the stream information, I guess the message of this video is that the seed of video making motivation has been planted, and I guess at this point we can all merely hope that it doesn't die out or get deceased, whatever that then means. Nevertheless, your contributions of watering the seed are appreciated. Even though I've been a little inactive and silent community-wise, I'd like to say that I still appreciate all the feedback and support that I get. I do read all the comments and PMs, and to my best ability I try to respond to them. However, not always if I just can't find the good enough words to provide a deserved response, but still I read them and usually they motivate me. Oh, and also during this big sleep, whatever you want to call it. It's been really cool to meet some of you while skilling. Sometimes I've been more chatty and sometimes a bit less, but all in all these encounters and conversations have been most motivating. They are, uh, in fact, a big reason why in the first place I activated to make this video, so thanks thanks, nice to see that there's still mature players hanging around and spreading the good spirit in the community. I guess at this point I could move on to more skilling related topics as well. So as of recording this video I've been uh, finishing the rest of my agility XP but in the background of the video you can see a little clip of myself fishing. It's nothing very filmatic but at least something for the record for the history of this channel. And yes, the two stats that I'm gonna sync and max out in the upcoming stream are gonna be fishing and agility. So. If for the sake of satisfying your curiosity I were to summarize these experiences, fishing and agility experiences, I guess first of all getting plain 200ml agility wasn't exactly the most efficient thing to do given its multitasking potential and all, but I like to look at it as something that just had to be done to get to the point where I am right now, if you know what I mean. If I took mining and my experiences with it as an example, the skill has become twice as fast to train as it used to be when I got my 200 mil, and what I'm trying to say is that it's been really cool to watch chaps like Autumn Elegy and AJ crying the heck out of this new mining meta, and for that I can only give those guys a nod of approval with a pair of epic sunglasses on, but at the same time it has felt a bit frustrating because I know I would have loved to test my limits with the four granites and the intense tick manipulation myself had I known about it back then. I don't know if it's regret or not, but after having experienced something like this, I'd like to learn to make more efficient decisions in the future. And I'm taking my baby steps towards those even now, although fishing might of course become faster in the future just like any other skill really, but 
in time I have come mentally prepared to deal with such setbacks and making quite a few wrong turns with my planning as well. I like to think that the aspect of imperfection in skilling that pursues efficiency can only do good for your motivation from the psychological perspective of the grind at least, and not only because after all it's a game and having fun we're talking about. Also, I like to think that the only way stubborn delusionalists like me can improve their efficiencies through trial and error, allowing yourself to make mistakes and then trying to learn something from them. It's a mantra that you probably recognize from my older videos as well. Anyhow, I guess my bottom line slash message to the followers here is that I'd like to become more efficient and learn to enjoy the sense of making these efficient decisions more. But in my case, will this kind of mindset lead to the use of alts and even more intensive exploitation of the available paths to success? Well, I can't say I have any clear answers to that just yet. I mean, in the upcoming two years I could become an excessively Darwinistic competitive alt user, or a burnout or a stubborn moralist who constantly cringes about anything new. I mean, honestly, I have no idea regarding where I should take my gameplay right now. There's just so many new factors that have come up to the skilling scene uh, very recently, such as new means of tick manipulation, more and more people giving up on traditional money-making methods in front of zero-time GP, and in general willingness to do anything or nearly anything to stay competitive. It's a more or less accurate analysis, you decide, but at least myself I feel like I'm stuck in a limbo trying to comprehend the misty paths leading to the future. I still enjoy skilling a lot and I guess I'm fairly addicted to the flowfulness of it as well. In other words, I don't feel like quitting just yet, but neither I want to be stuck in a state of no improvement in my skilling. That's my message, and to act according to it, my next goal in RS after my double 200 mils is quite likely going to be Hunter. Um, the money that it's going to give me might just give me a good basis to implement the idea of skilling more efficiently in the future. Transitions and adaptation, I suppose that will be the key pair of words for the most successful skillers in the future. We shall see, we shall see. Anyways, I don't feel like going too deeply into these topics as of right now, but they definitely are themes that I could cover more thoroughly in the future. And speaking of future content, I still can't unfortunately say when I'll be coming out with that. My ever hectic mind is what it is, and my real life is what it is, but to increase the likelihood of those commentaries popping onto your subscription box, by all means feel free to leave me all kinds of feedback and ideas what I could do, even if I wouldn't directly respond to them, I still react to them on my mind, and they help me with my introspection and figuring out what I could do and develop myself as a content maker. But alright, I suppose it's a good time to wrap this video up. Thanks once again for your patient interest and support. I hope to see you at least checking out the stream I mentioned earlier. I'll try to make it a good one, and if we'll not see it there, then perhaps we'll see in the game and in form of new videos and nowadays also tweets. Anyways, as it out, thanks for watching, may the flow be with you, and cheers.